In a world where the future is shaped by innovation and discovery, empowering the next generation of scientists is paramount. On the 6th of February 2024, at Gela Primary School, a special event unfolded showcasing the power of mentorship and the importance of women in science. Do you know what they said? Yes. To make a good seed and to get a good crop, you need some science in it. Accra has brought together aspiring young minds and seasoned professionals to cultivate a passion for science, particularly in the field of agriculture. One woman in particular stands out. My name is Dr. Jenny Nida. I work in the Center of Excellence for Seed System. I'm the head of Angra Advisory in that team. My area is actually in seed production and then um, getting better varieties to farmers and seed production innovations. My greatest inspiration was my father. I grew on a farm and I, my father was a farmer. He was very determined. He always used to grow different types of crops. The thing about my father is he was very methodological. He wanted to know the reason for everything. And he kept on telling me, you will be a doctor, you will be a doctor. And I came to like science in that way. And so I grew up to also like to know what is the reason for everything. Agriculture is a very intensive career which needs a lot of concentration. It needs very little time off. It needs diligence and following it through. Dr. Jane's journey to becoming a leading scientist is a testament to balancing personal and professional aspirations, demonstrating how passion can drive remarkable achievements. The fact that I was a mother and I had to leave my children back home. So you can you imagine, I mean, a mother without the children, and this is what I would encourage every girl. You can do anything. Keep your passion. Seed is the first input, the first thing a farmer plants in the soil. Seed actually contributes 40% to the total crop productivity. Always make sure that you have good seed because if you don't have good seed, you expose yourself to disease, you expose yourself to drought, you expose yourself to climate shock, you already lose 40%. By the way, there have been very few women in this science journey. First of all, in my own village where I came from, I was probably the only girl who went to high school. And by the time you even become a scientist, you find you are the only one in this field, particularly in this field of science in agriculture. I love high iron beans because they give us energy. Girls need mentoring. It's like raw bundles. So of the like of professors in the university, senior women in, in agriculture, ministers of agriculture. So this kind of mentoring is very, very important. Why? Because we need to see raw models. When Dr. Jane introduced us to her career, I like to say that science, agriculture, it's very good. I can study it and I'll pursue my career. I wanted actually to be a medical doctor, but later on I did not know a lot about agriculture or science. I, I used to think agriculture is all about digging, but I came, I came to realize that agriculture is all about science. So you don't have to take iron tablets if you eat high iron beans, because the high iron brings, brings more iron in your as the day unfolded, the young girls of Kitengela Primary School were inspired not only by the words of wisdom from the Dr. Janie Ninda, but also by witnessing her hands-on involvement in the bean harvesting activity. The event served as a reminder that the future of science is bright, and by empowering girls, we pave the way for a more sustainable and inclusive world. Happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science!